What's up, Heaven Made Gang Creator Mind? It's your girl, the Creator Mind, and Bree, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. On this January 2nd, um, I'm just doing, you know, a video for you guys. It's the New Year's. Happy New Year's to you guys. I hope all is well. I know you haven't seen me in a while. I've been trying to spend more time with God and, you know, uh, spending more time with my kids as well. But, um, hold on. But I hope everything is okay, and I hope um, everyone has had a great holidays, uh, spending it with their family and their friends. Um, so it's a lot that I want to do this year, so I want to make sure that God is involved, and I hope um, us as, you know, Heaven Made Game Creative Minds want to do that as well. Sorry, I might look a little crooked. Somebody tell me that now, and it really is starting to look like that. But, um, yeah, I just want to come on here, you know, do a quick New Year's prayer and also tell you guys what I saw in the spirit as well. And what I saw when I was praying for a three day um, chain prayer, it was really the first day when I started praying for resources. I seen um, a platter, a cloud platter. It was a cloud shaped like a platter, you know, the platter, like you serve things um, to people. So it was like a server platter and it was shaped in a cloud and it had resources all on those platters coming down to earth. And I know that we was praying in my church for um, praying on the prayer line because I pray online. But yeah, I saw that it was a platter coming down with a lot of resources for, you know, the people of God that, that's been, who needs it, who's been asking. So I did see that um, and that's where I got from it was God was giving us the resources that we have been asking for or need in this hour. And I would like to um, also share something that I wrote, and this was a while ago, and I haven't, I haven't remembered to, to say it. It may not mean anything to some people, and it may mean something to a lot of people. So let me go to it. And if it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, then it's just, you know, just let it be what it be. Okay, it says we all have our own identities. Everyone doesn't like the same thing. We like different things, um, as in football teams, basketball teams, baseball, any sports. We like different bodies, attitudes, different brains, different love languages, different visions, different looks, different heights, but we have one God in heaven. And, and that's where I stopped at. So we have our own identity. So don't always expect people to do the same thing as you don't expect people to have the same purpose as you. The relationship with God that everyone has may not be for I mean, may, it's, it's not the same um, as in everyone. Some people may wake up in the morning singing to God. Some people may get up dancing or some people may get up um, talking to God while they're getting ready for work in the morning and saying, God, what should I wear? Every That's a different relationship. And it's, it's kind of like, okay, this is our relationship. So please don't try to come over here and tell me what should I do with my personal relationship with God is it's actually a true relationship. And if you believe that God is alive, if you believe that Christ is alive and that you share a relationship with him, then you should understand how other people relationship. Actually, people don't understand that because actually we do that in relationships. Now, even with romantic relationship, we tell each other a spouse who we can be friends with, who um I know, you know, some people probably can um i'm not gonna say be a threat but try to threaten their um marriage or whatever and that's different but as in so far like me going to somebody and be like oh you can't be friends with this person or um you have this type of relationship and it should be like this so i'm gonna, I'm gonna just stick with god relationship because i'm not gonna go into the world relationship because that can be confusing also and it can get us off guard um, off what I'm trying to say. But, yeah, we all have different personalities. We all have different bodies. Um, I see now in the world a lot of people are starting to tell people what 
is attractive, what body types are, are better, what, um, what job or role should a woman and a man play for them to be able to be married? Like I said, everybody have their own identity and everybody have their own likes. People like baseball. Some people don't like hockey. Some people that love hockey and some people don't like football. And some people that like soccer and some people that don't like tennis. So we all have our own preferences on what we like. Um, so all of this stuff going around, what you should and shouldn't do, you shouldn't give a man a gift if you're a woman. But if that's who you are, who God created you to be, to be a, a given person and that person, you know, wants to receive that, then let that be okay. And also that goes for the woman as well. If I, you know, don't want, you know, gifts and stuff like that, but I like to um, give them or, you know, not even give gifts. I like to do other things that makes me happy. Then let me be able to do that. So with me and my relationship with God, let me be able to um, have my own relationship with God how I want to have it. I may want to sing later on at night to God. You know, that's our relationship. That's something that we're used to. When God came down and he knew, like, where are you? He knew he was hiding and he usually comes at that time. He probably you know, looking for him, like, where are you? We do this all the time. So that's different. You know somebody. If I have somebody that knows, oh, she don't do this. She doesn't go out anymore. She doesn't do this. So I know that's not her. She would have called. She would have um, at least text. So that's not that's not of her. So same thing with God. God knows us. And he, our relationship, when we start to have a better relationship with him, we get to know him more. We He get to, you know, not only know us more because he already know us, but he get to put that relationship, what he always um, wanted to, it to be, to the uh, uh, levels on top of levels so it can grow, if that makes sense. So that means a lot to God for us to be in his presence and having our own identity and knowing who we are and going to him to know who we are because you know society has raised us since we were younger to tell us certain things trying to adopt this mindset so we can be used to it so with our identity we can uh, and having our relationship with god we know who we are we know who god is we know what what his presence what he likes if we start singing his presence come he likes to hear us sing he likes to say i love you he likes us to praise him he likes us to talk to him he likes us to ask questions do you like when I wear this or should I wear this or should I go there? He loves when we do that. That's a real relationship. Um, and even in marriages, sometimes God can be, you know, are we doing right? Are we wrong? Who is wrong? What should we do? And this guy, like he's right there with us, that we should also start putting that into marriages as well where we're sitting down and we can have God right here right across from us and we bring down his presence and we're talking to him and asking him for advice as well and that would that's that's like really having a relationship with him so 2023 I think that's um more of what I'm just going to be doing what I've been doing but even more on that level on, on he's actually physically right here and also you know making sure that I'm just pleasing him and his word and making sure that I'm, you know, making him proud as his daughter, um, as his child. So, um, yeah, that's mostly what I got from that, the resources and that as well that I wanted to share because I had that in there. And that was in there since, um, it's a date, December 9th, um, in the morning at 7.02. But, yeah. So that's really what I wanted to say. I want to pray also for this um, this year. So Father God, I ask you to just come in into our lives, Father God, this 2023 and above, Father God, and just be here with us and guide us, Father God. Let us not only just, you know, let us not go on to our own understanding, Father God, but yours, Father God, your will be done in our lives, Father God, in every area, Father God. And Father God, we just thank you so much for just loving us the way you do, knowing us first, Father God, and have a good plan for us, Father God, not to harm us, not to, to, to kill us or anything like that, Father God. You want the best for us, Father God. You protect us from the evil one, Father God. 
I ask, Father God, that we have discernment in this year, Father God. We do not waste time, Father God. And we have a zeal, Father God, a love, Father God, to be in your presence, Father God, to know you more, Father God, to, 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 to love your word, Father God, to install that into us, Father God, that we may you know, show ourselves approved, Father God. We ask that anything that we have done, Father God, that you have for, you forgive us from the past, Father God, that we come into new slates, Father God. Please forgive us for everything that we have probably done that you do not like knowingly and unknowingly, Father God. And wash us, Father God. Put a new garment on us, Father God. A new heart, Father God. A new spirit, a new start, Father God. Let the old things pass away, Father God. Any memories, Father God. A trauma, Father God, that's trying to linger, Father God. That we cannot see, that we are blind to, Father God. Open up our eyes. Take the scales off, Father God. And we say destroy those traumas father god and replace them with with the new with the good father god of your word father god let's re let, help us to re know to replace that father god and show us um your love father god and that we will always walk and let you to lead father god you are a shepherd father god and we are your sheep father god when it's coming to that father god and into the world father god we are only powerful because of you father god because of your power father god you are the source father god and you are, you tell us to go, that's where we go, Father God. Let us not only just listen to the words of people and the prayers of people, Father God, but do unto ourselves, Father God, and raise those people to be as such, Father God. So it's just not just a... Uh, uh, people that's being higher or lower father god we all can have the same measure of faith father god and in the same relationship status father god and we just i just pray that we all just get it like i like that father god because when we're doing better father god the world will be more peaceful for everybody father god let it be no envy, no jealousy, Father God, but congratulations, Father God, knowing that we can do it as well, Father God. If it is any e envy, jealousy, greed, hatred, Father God, anything that's not of you, Father God, erase that and take it away and let it be from the past, Father God. We ask that people are being saved, Father God, and knowing you, Father God, and the truth, Father God, that you pour your spirit, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. That's what we need the most, Father God, is you, because when it all comes down, Father God, your spirit was taken away right now, Father God. We will be in shambles, Father God. We will be in hurt, Father God. We will not know which way to go, Father God. Father, I just, I, I just thank you for this year, Father God, for bringing us, Father God. Every year you bring us, Father God. Every day you are watching us, Father God, and make, and watching over us, Father God, and making sure that we're getting up in the morning. You're watching over our children, Father God, our families, Father God. You let people intercede for us. We intercede for others, Father. Father God, you are letting us know you, Father God. You get to, we get to have the insight, Father God, of the God who created everything and everything above, Father God. You are magnificent, Father God. We place nobody above you, Father God. We give you all the glory, all the praise, Father God. We thank you for this year, Father God. We thank you for all the other years, Father God. We thank you for right now, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for giving us a heads up, Father God, for even writing a book, Father God. You are a guide. You are guide. You are God alone, Father God. You are in the heaven. You can always just delete everything, Father God, and do what you want. You don't have to have us living with you, Father God. You don't have to love us, Father God, but you do, and you did, Father God, and you have always done, done that, Father God. You have getting us out of situations. The pain has made us stronger, Father God. I thank you so much, Father God. I, I thank you so much. Thank you so much, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. I don't want to act too high and mighty because tomorrow I might fall down on my face. Lord, I thank you for sunshine. I thank you for rain. I thank you for joy and I thank you for pain. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, I thank you for sunshine. I thank you for rain. I thank you for joy and I thank you for pain. It's a beautiful day, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a beautiful day, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Lord. That is for you, Father God. I love you so much, Father God. Thank you so much. And I ask that you bless everyone, Father God. Give them the, the joy to just sing out of nowhere, Father God, for you, Father God. To express themselves with songs, love, joy, dancing, the things that you put inside of them, Father God. 
that show that love for you, Father God, to glorify you, Father God, with praise and honor, Father God. I thank you so much, Father God, and I know you are here with me, Father God. I know our relationship is real. I know I hear from you, Father God, and I don't want you to, people to that's hearing from you, and they, they're having hope and confusion, Father God, that that be destroyed right now in the mighty name of Jesus, and then enlighten them, Father God, any slave mentality that people are trying to place on others, Father God, or any guilt or shame or anything like that, Father God, but if it's not coming from a good place father god if it's not coming from what you're saying or correction father god that's that's with love father god i destroy that right now in the mighty name of jesus father god and i ask that father god that you be put in there in our minds father god in our ears father god open up our ears father god and our our eyes father god take the scales off father god let us see what you see know what you know father god that you're giving us father god in a secret place father god you are so great and glorious i love you so much father god hallelujah kings of kings and lords of lords you deserve it all you deserve it all you are worthy you are worthy for everything, Father God. Hallelujah. You can you you created the fingernails, Father God, on the, the, the germs on my, my skin, Father God. You created every little being on my body inside and out, Father God. Go to Shagada Yosha. Go na gada yada. How can I not praise you, Father God? You are glorious. Hallelujah. I bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. All right, you guys. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's longer than I thought. I thought it was going to be short because I really didn't have that much to say. But um, praying can always, you know, longer, you know, pull it longer than you thought. But me singing y'all that right there, it was a little boy on um, the Internet that's been going around. And I just heard that he's from Jamaica. He did cover that video, that song. It was from somebody else, a gospel singer. But um, that version of it, what I heard was from him um it was just good i wake up in the morning and i said with myself um i don't want to he what he said i don't want to um i don't want to feel nothing i just want to it was a it's a good song y'all and i had to do you no know, a, a video with that because yeah that was good so i don't know how i just don't i'll be singing it about a hundred times already so i don't know how i'm forgetting it already so lord i thank you for sunshine thank you for rain thank you for joy thank you for pain it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful day lord i thank you for sunshine thank you for rain Thank you for joy, thank you for pain, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day, Lord I thank you for sunshine, thank you for rain, thank you for joy, thank you for pain, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day, Lord I thank you for sunshine, thank you for rain, Thank you for joy, thank you for pain. It's a beautiful day, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a beautiful day. Lord, I just want to be with you. You are mighty and great, you are. I am God. <laughs> okay, I made that last part up, but I really want to do a freestyle to that song. But, okay, y'all, um, I love y'all so much, but God loves y'all more. He is with us. Make sure that you keep God first in your um, in your life and build your relationship with God, you guys. It is um, crucial, especially in these times right now, being in the last days. And we see that from just the Bible itself when it tells us to, it will be seasons that, that we will know. And it shows what it's going to be, and we're seeing that as well. Even with the rivers and stuff, um, the, the, the Ephesian River. I think I said it right, drying up, and it's supposed to be um, a big beast below where people recording their hearing, screaming with um, the beast with chains or whatever. So, we gotta go back and read that too because I gotta, um, yeah, I just wanna read that too and, and get back, you know, enlightened on that part. But 
other than that you guys um yeah i'm just um talking right now so i'm gonna end this video i love you guys so much like i said but god loves you even more than me 10 times 100 times that we can't even think of infinity he loves you more and he wants to have a relationship with you so if you have somebody if you're somebody that wants to have um, a relationship with God and you don't know where to start just by accepting him, if you're believing him, if you don't want to, you know, perish in hell because that is where we're going to go. It's either two places, heaven or hell. Just repeat after me, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I am a sinner, Lord. Make me new. I believe that you died on the, uh, died on the cross and rose again on the third day to save me. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I ask you to be my Lord. Cleanse me, Lord. Come into my heart and make me new. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Okay, and if you repeat it after me, um, you congratulations, you are now, you know, in faith, you said it with your heart and you believe with your faith. Like I said, I don't do this often. I'm just starting to do it because that's what I'm supposed to do. So um, it'll just get better and just get kind of, um, I don't know why, I just got nervous, I guess, saying the right thing or whatever. But I also want to pray with you. Father God, the ones who have said that they accept you, Father God, I ask that you come into their life, Father God, make them new, guide them, Father God, on where to go, Father God, to get a baptism, Father God, filled with the Holy Spirit, Father God, your gifts that you have given them, Father God, your inheritance, Father God, for them being a child now of God, Father God, let them start to lead them, uh, lead them the right way, Father God, renew their mind, Father God, download the things that they need, Father God, for you, Father God, because the enemy came to kill, steal, and destroy, but you came to give life, Father God, and have it more abundantly, Father God, so I ask right now, well, after they are saved, Father God, that they have it more abundantly they have the life father god they already experienced as soon as they accept you father god they have accepted you father god and asked you father god that they start having the love father god the joy and you said who are set free they are free indeed father god and i ask that it that is done for them in jesus mighty name amen all right you guys i'm gonna go um yeah, just um, getting them ready back for school. You know, I'm getting ready back. Um, I'm getting getting them ready to go back to school, and then I'm getting ready to go back to school as well. And also other um, things that, you know, got to do. But whatever, I'm saying too much details. But I love y'all. Like I said, having made gang credit in mind. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you like, for real though. I don't be seeing y'all like. I see a lot of views. Make sure you like this video. And um, just comment below with a you know the flex arm the muscle arm if you have made it this far as well bye y'all